I know this that what we're going to talk about today is something that's kind of near and dear to your heart, uh, uh, a bit of a, a passion project, so to speak, on, on uh, inside of cybersecurity. Yeah. We're always looking at you know risks and threats and how to mitigate those, how to secure things uh, within a sphere for an organization. And generally speaking, we think of that as kind of a terrestrial thing here on Earth and what's going on, but in all reality. Uh, a lot of this is happening in space with satellites and things like that. And this is something we see a lot of in, in movies, in TV, in, in real life. I mean, we've, we've created the Space Force under the Department of Defense that's been birthed out of the Air Force and all of this. So it's yeah. really something that's very timely today. I guess I'll just jump right in with the questions. And the first one is, you know, could the next war that we see on Earth here begin actually outside of Earth? Could it begin in cyberspace? I wrote a, a, a white paper, you know, um, oh, over 10 years ago, I think 2011, uh, yeah, 2010 time frame, um, specifically talking about the battle for cyberspace supremacy. Mm. Um, it's a really interesting topic for me personally. I, I've always felt that the, um, you know, that the, uh, you know, satellite infrastructure is vulnerable to attack and so when i put this paper together you know many years ago it was with of course that in mind there's been a, a lot of talk a lot of speculation around this uh subject especially uh, in recent weeks um about the possibility uh, of taking out a satellite uh, infrastructure and you know would that be considered a, a national threat and the answer is real i i really believe that uh, the prospect of a war beginning in cyberspace is real. And of course, as you know, satellites are used for national security and safety, as well as for our uh, you know, communication infrastructure. Um, and a couple of examples here uh, and why this is such a sensitive area is uh, we use satellites uh, you know, for communications to provide essential services across many industries and markets. And as we all know, right, we, we now operate in a global, a global economy whereby any disruption uh, to the trading uh, or the distribution of financial information you know, could significantly impact the, the global economy. Within telecommunications, right, satellites are used to provide services uh, for, you know, obviously telephone services, television broadcasting, and of course, you know, internet access. Mm -hmm. So again, any disruption to the, that communication flow would also have a significant impact. Um, and, you know, people get scared, you know, when, when normal activities disappear, such as uh, you know, the internet, uh, telephone services, right, are in flux. So it's a huge concern. Um, you know, a world without, you know, being online for a day would probably create panic. Mm -hmm. And um, in my opinion, and, and, and panic is, is something we certainly want to avoid. The bottom line is, is our economies are digitally interconnected now, and uh, we rely heavily on these terrestrial systems and satellite networks to perform real-time information and business operations. So if I was uh, to hedge my bets, I would say that any deliberate disruption to a satellite infrastructure could lead to war. As a CEO in the, in the wireless IoT security field, understanding these dynamics is, is crucial. So preventing and mitigating the impact of a cyber warfare in space is, is very important. We're using cybersecurity enhancements like self-protection, DDR, data detection and response for satellite anomaly detection uh, for behavior analysis is vital going forward for protecting this particular infrastructure.